Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be demonstrating to you how to overclock a Radeon Gravis card safely. Before we get into this video, a quick little disclaimer. Anything you do in this video may put your computer at risk. I am not responsible for anything that you do here today. Now, let's get into this video. Simply go to the description of the video where you can find the links to download the two softwares I will be using. Once you've downloaded Superposition and Firmark, open up Superposition. We'll start off by getting a baseline score to compare your results for when we are done. Simply set your preset to 8K optimized and then press run. Now that you've gotten your benchmarks, make sure to note these down so you can compare them to your end results. Now onto the good part. You can close this out and open up AMD Adrenaline. Once you have opened up AMD Adrenaline, simply click performance, tuning, then we're going to scroll down to your GPU, set the manual tuning to custom, I accept, then enable GPU tuning enable advanced control and whatever your max frequency is in my case it's 2619 i'm going to set the minimum frequency 100 less so 2519 just like this and then max out your voltage check vram tuning set the memory type to fast timing and enable advanced control now to start off just bump this up by plus 50 then enable fan tuning uncheck zero rpm this feature is if you're not doing anything intensive like watching just random videos your fans may turn off but i recommend just keep this disabled check advanced control if you really want you can go into depth with setting up a fan curve but just for this video i'm just going to adjust it a little bit nothing really crazy now go down the power tuning and if your gpu allows you to increase this more then do that and set it to the maximum now press apply changes and your screen may flicker for a second but that is fine once you have done this, simply run superposition one more time and write down your benchmarks. If your score is increased, then follow me. Step 2 will be increasing your maximum and your minimum GPU clock frequency by just 50. Once you have done that, press apply changes again and simply run superposition again. If you have noticed that your score has went up once again, keep doing that until you notice that your score barely increased by only a couple points. And once you've done that, you can just back it down to your other clock frequency. So for example, if I ran superposition right now and my score was the same as it was before, then I can just set this back down to 19, just like this, and press apply because there's no need. And then once you've done your clock frequency, you can keep your voltage at 1150 millivolts. But what I've noticed is bumping it down to 1125, just like this, gives you a little bump in performance as well. Now for VRAM tuning, this is tricky. Some of you guys may get best results with this, this at 2000. Some of you may get best results with this at like 2030 or 2050, whatever yours is, just figure that out for you. In between each test, make sure you're on superposition and write down your scores. Now, I've actually forgot to say this, but what you're gonna be doing while you're adjusting everything is have Firmark open and simply just press run. Have this in the background running like this and monitor your gpu temperatures right here if you get above 70 degrees celsius then i would highly recommend you just to really bump up your fan curve as much as possible to something like this and apply your changes but my temps are extremely good for under a stress test so i don't need to have this intense of a fan curve i can just back it down a little bit whenever you make a change for example bumping up your clock frequency or your voltage or your vram make sure to make one change and then run firm mark in the background for at least five to ten minutes before applying your next change just to make sure you're stable so if i bump up my vram frequency to 2100 press apply and then i start getting instability issues or crashing then you know that's too high simply back that back down to 2050 and then you're good if you guys have any comments or concerns make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer all you guys i want to thank you all for watching and have an amazing day